This place is nice. What I expected. Ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? <sighs> Nothing but that tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key. in the right position.
That should work. Now to try the door. Finally. Now we can find what lies within. be here. What is this place? Time to take a dive. Icaros! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible! I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century, if memory serves. And yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. I've traveled a long way to meet my real father. You? You were not sent here for a family reunion. There are bigger things at stake. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. I 
you're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Abstava. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Set us assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Athena. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? But I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. This 
is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. to Altair too? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes. By the gods, Layla. It's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla. Think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We are both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis. But what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered.
need to talk to him. He must be the one Pythagoras mentioned. The lair of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, a mystios. What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Yotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I will do everything I can to find your missing apprentice. I appreciate the help, Mistyos. I am very worried about my peoples. Where was your apprentice heading? We heard rumors of a sighting near the tomb of many calves in Viotia. What was Pibos looking for? There was a cave discovered that might contain items of great significance. I sent him to validate the claims before I made the journey myself. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Pibos. He's over there. Let's go. <laughs> this must be Pibos. Or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the amulet. Let's go. Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! The statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? What are you? The Sphinx. The guardian of truth and knowledge. Why are you here? The gods sent me to protect something, and I've been its guardian ever since. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. 
The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. Some try to hide, some try to cheat. But time will show we always will meet. Try as you might to guess my name. I promise you'll know when you I do claim. Death. Well done, mortal. What is large yet never grows, has roots that cannot be seen, and is taller than trees. A mountain. How fascinating. As small as your thumb, I am light in the air. You may hear me before you see me, but trust that I'm there. A hummingbird. Hmm. How clever you are. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. of this world. I hear you, my brothers. You see? They're here. The, the gods are behind this door. Listen. I didn't mean to be away so long. Kithera is... Well, if you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere... This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. Ah! You hear them too! There is something there. And whatever is making that noise must be two or three times the size of a man. Quickly, use the disc! Open the door! They're expecting us! Whatever is inside... I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! of the universe! Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the heaven! Impossible. He does not 
don't look happy. Let's see if I can cheer him up. Touch that chest. It's mine. I'm no thief, but if I was, I'd want something more valuable. Take that back. These ruins are an interesting place to set up camp. What brings you here? A long time ago. Below this very spot, my batter, the great adventurer Nikios, entered the labyrinth to steal the Minotaur's treasure. As I waited outside, I heard shouts and roars. Then his men came pouring out. His men, but not batter. I need to save him. Minotaur was just a man in the mask, and not much of a man at that. Those idiots in Pefka. They wouldn't know a real Minotaur if it ran them through with its horns. It's not like that here, Mistios. Where is he then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your pater's... Find your pater. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die, and I will find your father. 
Thank you, Miss Dios. No one ever believes me. Just calm down and take me to the labyrinth. What's your name? Artos. Now follow me. The entrance is way down on the ground. It's down, this way. This place is going to blow your mind, Miss Dios. There's a huge room, and there's a huge hole in the ground with a huge door. Everybody keeps going on about the cow. The sales killed the minotaur. Lies. I heard it. A roar like... like a rolling thunder. Yeah, that's it. The minotaur is still alive and hungry. Great. I'm glad you came along. No pattern has a shot of getting out of that damn labyrinth. They really didn't have to put the entrance this deep. Um, here we are. Isn't this amazing? I've seen some things, Ardos, but this... ...is amazing! So the Minotaur lies beneath Knossos' palace. Open the door. I've got a Minotaur to slay. Ah! Oh, right. It's locked. Don't worry, we'll find a way. You must know something. I don't, but the guys who went into the labyrinth with my batter will. I tried talking to them, but... But they won't speak to me. They'll speak to me? Who are these people? The Collector, Swordfish, and my old caretaker. My old caretaker. Boring old man. Never wanted to talk to me about my pater or the Minotaur. So I left him to find out the truth on my own. Bold. And the Collector is this guy who buys weird stuff. He's a merchant in Gortin. Oh, and the last guy, they call him... Swordfish. Of course. He's the boss of Octopus Bay. And he's mean. Where should I start looking for... swordfish? Fisherman's Beachhead in Heracleon would be your best bet. No one's seen him in years. Some think he's dead. Swordfish? He must have a long, pointy nose. No, no, he's really good with a sword, and he's really good with a fish, I guess. This collector, where is he? He lives in Gartin, near some red pillars, in a crazy house with lots of stuff. I've borrowed some trinkets from him. He has so many, he never even noticed. Don't let me catch you borrowing from me. From you, I would never get caught. Tell me more about this old man. Okay, so my old caretaker recently sent me a message about wanting to meet in Festos. That's nice of him. <laughs> he never answered me about my father or the Minotaur. Ever! That's why I left in the first place. I'll go in your place and see what I find. The message said to meet him at our old house. Northeast of here, near Festos. Where did you say I'll find your caretaker? Old caretaker. The message said to meet him at our old house to the northeast, near Festos. I'll make sure they all talk. You must be the hoarder. The Collector. Dust Collector, maybe. I'm here about the Minotaur. The... No, no, no. I don't. I can't. I don't know anything about the Minotaur. Ardos sent me. He says you know things. Ardos? The boy. Never talk to the boy. We all promised. I'm not here to break bones. I'm here for information. Give it to me, and I'll be on my way. I'll answer your questions, but you won't ask the right one. Can we not play games? 
Fine. You're going to need Theseus's armor, which I sold to be part of a collection at the fort. There's nothing wrong with my armor. Nikios thought his armor was the finest in the Greek world. He could have worn Theseus's when we found it. But I was the perfect fit. Minotaur struck me right in the chest. Should have died. But Nikios. Don't make Nikios's mistake. Wear Theseus's armor. What do you know of the boy? Son of Nikios. Stubborn. A little shit. His father's son. You remember him fondly enough, yet you refuse to speak to him. If I speak, he might not listen. The truth is armor against little, Mistheus. You said you sold Theseus's armor. Who has it? A military commander, stationed in the fort. He has a cave filled with all sorts of prizes. The armor is his crown jewel. Sounds like a hard thing to part with. No, easy. That armor, it would have saved Nikios. It would have saved the boy's father. Yet, I wore it. I didn't deserve. The armor haunted me. No point keeping ghosts in my collection. Breathe, Collector. I've learned enough. If the Zeus's armor is still in the fort, I'll find it. There are more pieces of the Zeus's armor. I've only managed to attain two of them. But someone stole one from me. If you find it, you can have it. But give whoever took it a piece of my mind. And perhaps a piece of your blade. The hidden cave. This must be Ardos' house. Where's the boy? Ardos. You're his caretaker? Of course. I need to speak with him. Don't you recognize me? Remember all the times we shared the secrets? Don't take me for a fool. Who told you about the boy? Speak! It's nothing personal with the boy or the old man, but if I tell you anything, I am good as... Dead? Guess what'll happen if you don't tell me anything? Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? Where is the old man? They're at Festos village, southwest of here. They got him tied to a post and they're beating him. What is to happen to the boy? I don't know, Mistios. They just told me to bring him back, but we both know what they're capable of. And you'd bring them an innocent boy? You'd stand by as an old man gets beaten. B but And you agreed to kidnap the boy. They're just up the road. The cult. Go kill them all. You'll be doing me a favor, too. Let me go, and I won't tell anyone what happened. 
I'll let Zeus decide your fate. I need to find the old man. Thank you, Mistyos. The old man is alive. I should check the temple in Festus. <laughs> the old man is here. I know. Wait, wait. Who are you? Ardo sent me. Can you walk? The boy. Thank the gods. Let's get out of here before they turn. Breathe, old man. Ardos, the boy. Is he safe? Alive? I won't let anyone hurt him. Though I do sometimes think about strangling him myself. Ardos has been known to test even the most resolute of wills. I'm looking for a way into the labyrinth. Ardos said you might know something. I know this. That place is death. What drove everyone out of the labyrinth? Something must have happened. I never went inside. I'm not a fool. But Nikios wanted me to watch the boy. I stayed outside and prayed. But I heard it. The Minotaur. Two returned. But Nikios. Ardos said his father is in the labyrinth. Is this true? Yes. He never came out. Though two who did, will never truly escape it. Ardo says you refuse to speak or talk to him about his father. How can anyone tell a boy the person he looks up to, his father and only family, is dead? What I can do in Nukios' honor is to stop his son from entering that cursed place. Why would they hurt you? When the survivors fled the Minotaur, they left behind a disc, the key to the labyrinth. And I kept it. Then why do they think Ardos has it? Because he does. He stole it from me. And I told them about it. <laughs> they tortured me, Mistyos. <laughs> I, I, I tried not to break. I failed him. I failed him all these years. The people who tortured you belong to a powerful cult. They have broken stronger men than you. You can still make things right with Ardos. As smart as he is, he still needs someone to look out for him. Family. He needs you. He doesn't even want to see me, Mistyos. Keep trying. 
about the disc. He doesn't know his true purpose, Mr. Yos. With it, you'll be able to open the labyrinth. Just promise to keep him safe. He'll be safe with me. I should ask Ardos if the old man is telling the truth. These fishermen should know something about swordfish. I'm looking for swordfish. Can you help? Piss off, Malacca! Fishmonger? I'm looking for swordfish. Shh! Are you crazy? You don't find swordfish. Swordfish finds you. Now go before I get my nose cut off. Uh, I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes. Swordfish. I hope you know what you're in for. He's ruthless. Cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Why is it that every time I mention his name, people jump? Swordfish controls Heraklion and everyone in it. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a rumor he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's all I know, Mistress. If he's so dangerous, why are you talking to me? I'm old. Tired, sick of bowing down to pay fees. If you can take him out, we're all better for it. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. Brosso! Brosso! Ah! Ah! This is it. On here, swordfish. Nemos, I knew you'd come. Dog, dog of Cosmos, have you come to bite? I have nothing to do with occultists. Think I believe you? You're mad! I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact! Go fetch it! Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Vemos? Answers. And you will give them to me. What happened in there that drove you to this? The Minotaur happened! I was lucky! Nikios, though! The Cosmos promised me everything! Not this! How did you end up here? I'm hiding amongst the filth. And from it, I can't show my face anymore. But Rachelon is still mine! All its fish... And all its people! You're insane! 
How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the steel. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. It'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikio said! I'll feed you to the sharks! So good with a sword after all. You can find Drachmi anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion. A broken man. Haunted by the Minotaur to the very end. I didn't steal it. The old caretaker said you. Go. He told you stuff? Did he tell you anything about my pather? No, he didn't, but... What about the collector? He said you're like your pather. Really? That's nice to know. Look, the old caretaker said you... Wait, wait, wait. And swordfish? What did he say? You found him, right? He said the key goes in the steely. Oh, I know where the steely is. But wait, what's this key you're talking about? The old man said you stole something from him. No, I didn't. Wait, what did he accuse me of stealing? The key to the labyrinth. A disc? Oh... You mean this old thing? I always wondered what it was for. Swordfish mentioned there was a place to put the disc. In a stilly. Oh, so what do we do now? If we put the disc into the steely, the entrance to the labyrinth should open. Then I see about a minotaur. And... and you'll save my pater too, right? I promised I'd save your pater, didn't I? You're the best, Mistios. Your pater and I will be back before you know it. Let's head to the entrance and try out the disc. Looks like a piece of Fisios' armor.
can't be Minoan. What is this? Walaka, oh, it's real. By the gods. The string the sails used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end. Rage did this. This must be Nikios. A ring. Ardos might want this.
The Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Hardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I didn't find him. There's no way anyone but me could have survived down there. My Petr was fast and really smart. If anyone could have, it would have been him. Maybe he got out. That's why you couldn't find him. He could still be out there. Somewhere. Yeah, you're right. Nothing can knock down the great Nikios. Are you okay, Ardos? I just wish I had something to remember him by. Sometimes I... I forget what he looks like. What he sounded like. You said your pater went into the labyrinth to find valuables. I found this. Take it. It isn't much, but maybe I will have helped him fulfill his promise. Thank you, Mistios. We should get out of here. What's your plan now? I'm going to keep looking for Pater. Do you think any of the others will know where he went? I don't think so. I... I see. Look who's here. Ardos! You are never alone, Ardos. There are always people who care. Thank you, Mistios. He's in good hands now. The Mistios didn't find Pater in the labyrinth. He must have gotten out. That's wonderful news, boy. Where do you think we should start looking? I'll think of something. Thank you, Mistios. I won't ever forget you. I couldn't tell him. You've done enough, Mistios. Let me handle the rest. Let's head home first. Maybe something there will help us find your party. Home? Yes, our home. Let's go.
sacrifice our own lover to the writing dread. How dead! Ah, Mistios! The gods are real. Help me, please! Silence, snake. What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice. They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue. This walking curse is in league with the writhing dread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the petrified temple and your doom. What exactly is this creature? Evil, heartless, unknowable. We must end this girl before she leads a writhing thread right to us. The forest where the creature lives. Where is it? Beyond the petrified temple, north of here. A damned place, haunted by sage and filled with cursed stone. At its center lie ancient ruins from which few return. You mentioned the Ligia. She's... Beyond beauty, beyond grace. A daughter of Artemis. Brave, not like me. What dark prize did the writhing dread offer for her she soul? She lives, Mistios. I know it. This writhing dread has let Ligia live. We'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I'd suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mistios. Citizens, we must save our city, and these interlopers must plead. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. <laughs> 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 Safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mistios. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more, even if it kills me. Love might be the end of us all, but it's a price worth paying. I polished Charon's drachmi long ago, Mistios. I'm ready. You know, I don't want to call you you forever. My name's Bris. Cassandra. Ligia's waiting for me, Cassandra. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the dread ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city.
place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. Enter the realm of the riding dread. Listen, it's as if sound itself is afraid of what the fog veils. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. Oh, these statues are unnervingly lifelike. And their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things. Transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. If Ligia, if she's. if she's stone, how will we bury her? She'll never meet Haram. Ligia! Ligia! Brace, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. We need to get inside, but I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, her smell. Every night we'd meet at the dread ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose, something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time, Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You are searching for a rose, a gift. Never regret an act of kindness, Brice. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Chios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible! But many believe him. He might know something. You said Ligia knew how to get into the lair. Where exactly is the key? The daughters of Artemis hide their most prized possessions in a cave in their village. It's protected by wild beasts and fierce warriors. The key is shaped like a disc. If they have it, it will be there. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in ancient peril. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there is no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Did you see the creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Cassandra, hurry. The region of the ancient pearl.
This is it. This looks like the place. The daughters of Artemis are where Brice said they'd be. The cave with the key must be nearby. It opens the writhing dreads layer, like they say. <laughs> There's the temple on the hill. Excuse me? We're born into darkness and rise up to the greatest peaks before descending into darkness once more. A warrior and a sophist. This is a first. It is not philosophy. It's truth. Learn through violence, fate, and seeing evil. True evil. You're talking about the writhing dread? The creature. When it ambushed us outside, we thought only of survival. My spear allowed me to stay out of its gaze. I was lucky. My friends weren't. Tell me how you were able to defeat the creature. It all happened so fast. We had a plan to break into the temple and corner it, but it ambushed us before we got inside. There was no time for strategy after that. Why go after the creature in the first place? We were hired to steal an ancient item from within its lair by masked soldiers. Give me that spear. We are warriors. To let it go without a fight would be to dishonor my fallen friends. Let's go! <laughs> special about this spear.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Off we go now. The mercenary knew nothing. He never made it inside the lair. Then it was a waste of time. Ligia waits and we've done nothing to help her. Not exactly. The mercenary carried this spear, which he claims killed the writhing dread. No, no, the creature took Ligia. It can't be dead. It waits in its lair even now. Then there may be a piece of this puzzle we don't yet understand. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... disc... key... this... I have what opens the lair. And you didn't hurt any of the daughters when you took it? Eh, there was no need for violence. The daughters of Artemis didn't even know I was there. And Tihi truly is on our side. Ligia still stands a chance. One myth speaks of turning victims to stone. Look at me here.
Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. had many questions for me. You should have come along. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? I am taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as ECU as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We easily see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. 
I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. She can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is... An opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction. Where I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. 
Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There's no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There's so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. This is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then? Open sesame. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. Mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot.
Lila, that pillar looks like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important. Where is it? What? True knowledge exists. In knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Cassandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. 
You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you. And put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... You used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... ...belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done... ...destroy it. Destroy them all. Much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevis. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible! It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. <sighs> he was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. 
But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Irodotos. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are, perhaps she too is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. <laughs>